Yeah, true blue gays. True blue weather out there today in New York City. Yo, it's TBW, true blue weather. Time to put on your tight jean shorts and your uh, your boat shoes and go stroll. Go stroll. This is Chris Stefano, a.k.a. King Gay. And uh, this is Giannis Pappas, a.k.a. Obi-Wan Kaknobi. Hello, and we are the History Hachinas. And uh, this is a fucking great episode today. We're going to be talking about the history of Austin. Wow, we're getting uh, confident. You're calling it great before we even start. Yeah, well, you I know. Like that. I'm I'm out of my mind today because I just went to the doctor and t- I was told I got to have a colonoscopy because I took a blood shit. Um, it How wasn't, much- a, but it wasn't red blood. It's just it was a dark pigment to a turd that I took a picture of. Um, and when and he was like, yeah, he was like, I think you should get a colonoscopy. I was like, all right, dude. So Giannis has done it before. Yeah, no, no big deal. And I'm gonna take colon blow tomorrow, yeah. and it's gonna get fuck you wild. I'm gonna lie, I'll I'll I'm gonna put videos of uh my colon blow on Patreon. Yeah, that'll really attract a lot of people. Yep. Yo, did you tell me you eat a lot of pits though? Because it could have been like a little piece of tomato in there. No, it was no. This it's, it's not. I'll put the picture up on Patreon. No, you don't um, have to. <laughs> it wasn't. It's it was like coated around the turd. Oh, it right. so it wasn't just like a piece of food coming out. It was like it was like in different spots of the turd. Yeah, little red specks. Real red, yeah, not specks. He told me could it could be something as simple as dehydration. He was yeah. like, it absolutely could be. He's like, but you know, you drink a lot of water though. I have been drinking a lot of water, but not over the last few days because I've been having pain. Oh, the other thing is, too, I've been having pain in the lower left side of my stomach. Oh yeah, you got to get that checked. So out. he said that could be that. You know, he doesn't know what that. He's like, it could be a fucking anything. That's why I got to take a look through your asshole. <laughs> But you know what? It could be your body kind of rebelling that you've, right. you've given up sweets and become and a me. cute. You became a cutie with a smoothie. Cutie with a smoothie. You are a fucking cutie. With, you're the king cutie. But you caught me today and we'll put this Fuck video up. It. I put it up already. Oh, you put it up already? Yeah. Yeah. So check this caught. out. ISIS. This is a funny story. By the way, Zach Isis here, and also finally he decided to show up. Bardo, the whitewashed yeah. church, finally decided to come back from his fucking Quaker convention. <laughs> <laughs> I show, yeah, yeah, we don't even have to. Say, we can always just say he's here because mm-hmm. uh, he just sits in the background yeah. there, like you know. He's got his arms folded on his head now. <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, he's like you know. Bardo's got the kind of look where like I want. I've been watching like the show The Tudors, and he looks like British royalty. But he looks like like if I was like the French, like the, when the French come and sack London, he we chop his head off immediately. Yeah. Just immediately drop a guillotine and yeah. we take his head and we play fucking soccer with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, nah, but he's a cute kid. He's Bardo. a cute kid. Yeah. He's he's cute, still got the rat tail. Or is it gone? Partially still there. Fucking Bardo. Yeah. It's great, dude. Yeah. You ever get your colon checked? No, I need to. Why? Yeah. Oh, really? Because you're, ever... you're over 40? Yeah. Have you t- t- ever taken a blood shit? No. Yo. I don't know. Come on. The you, way don't, you... you don't look at your turds? Not really. The... I've seen you drink. You sure you never had a little blood in the poo? Probably. I don't really look. Yeah. You... Come on. You got to look, Bardo. Bardo, yeah. Bardo gets fucking hammered. Yeah. Bardo Have was you... hammered. Yeah, at my I special, even... Bardo was hammered. He's always fucking hammered. One night. No, I think I, I seen you Bardo. twice hammered. Zach Twice. Isis, you ever take a blood shit? Oh yeah, for sure. For yeah. real? Red yeah. blood or dark blood? No, like like one time I drank Gatorade and okay. then I took a shit and it was all red and I I thought I was dying because it was like all red, but it was actually just Gatorade. Interesting. Yeah. That's just be like Mike stuff. Beats, you can take a beat shit. Yeah. Well, that's what I said to the guy. I was like, because I, I, I've taken, I've been taking pictures. I have actually an album on my phone called the Poop Album. <laughs> I have different, I have different. So I, I gave him like, he told me, he was like, this is the most complete evidence of feces I've seen from a patient in a long time. I was like, yeah, you're fucking with a true blue psycho right now. <laughs> he didn't understand that Chrissy D. TDP. You know, TD, TBP, TBG, um, PPW. And uh, yeah, he was saying that, you know, giving the evidence, he's like, yeah, he's like, you know, it's just consistent. He's like, so I fucking, yeah, I got to take a look. So you've been having red specs the whole way through? No, it's like once in a while. That's yeah. what I said. I was like, I thought if it was anything serious, it'd be all the time. And he's like, no, that's a misconception. He's like, if you have one poop that doesn't look like it's supposed to, you should get that checked. Sure, it's not your body trying to rebel against you to put some sweets in it? It may be my body trying to rebel against because it wants a dick in the ass. <laughs> that's what it could be. <laughs> I haven't put a dick up there in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so I snuck up on Chrissy. Yeah. I saw him walking down the street. He had headphones on. and uh, I was listening I, to Whitney. Yeah, he was listening to Whitney Houston probably or fucking, you know, uh, Pet Shop Boys. Yeah. that Gay people <laughs> love Pet Shop Boys. Love it. Anyway, so I, I followed him and I saw him hook a hard left into the sweet shop. 
<laughs> it's actually on my Instagram. You can watch it now. But it's a vegan sweet shop. It's sweets by Chloe, yeah, right? That is that not as bad? No, well, it's, it's still sugar. It's still the same thing. As far as you go, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, somebody else, it's a little better or whatever, but for you, it's the sugar you got Well, first I it. went in there for the cough. They got good cough, and then I saw I'll cook it. Yeah, well, when I, I was <laughs> behind him the whole time I was filming, and yeah, he went right over to the fucking cookie thing, and then he turned around, and he was like, Chrissy never gets fucking upset about anything. He was actually a little upset that I caught him and was fucking with him because he just yeah. wanted to eat a cookie in peace. Yeah, well, because I just got the colonoscopy news, so I was stressed out. No, but that's what happens when like addicts get caught. They get angry, even at their own family members, you know, when they get caught going for it. Yeah. yeah you know? Like yeah. You, it's, that was the equivalent of you like trying to take a 20 from my purse. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, I caught you. And then you were like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Something may be wrong with your asshole because your farts. Farts, yeah. They sound like they're being done in a bathtub. Well, I told him. I, I That's what I told him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I told him, my, I was like, my farts sound like they're underwater yeah. all the time. And he said, you know, he said even more. He said, he said that you could be, he told me that the possibilities he thought is, is dehydration, irritable bowel syndrome, brought on by anxiety. He said it's, it's possible. Or he said the blood could just be food coloring. He said some people, when they eat a fucking tomato, it just coats their poop. Yeah. Everybody's poop is different. But I did tell him about the farts. And he said, he, 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 was, he was like, uh, you know, he wants to check. He said there may not be a lot of room in there. That's yeah. what he told me. Why? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said, though. He's like, maybe he's like, maybe there's not a lot of room in there, and that's why you got a deep butt. Your flatulence sound a little, a little off, off putting. Yeah, that's what. No, we, but he said I'm a cute kid, though. Yeah, when you take dicks, maybe you just got to go small dudes, small yeah. cocks. Maybe you can't take big cocks. So, cause so this colon blow, this thing tomorrow is going to get fucking. Wild. Is it going to get wild? Yeah. Well, first off, let me say this. Let me give a shout out to my boy, Dr. Nick. He's actually a huge History Hyenas fan. Really? Yeah. Dr. Nick. He's listening. He's a gastroenterologist out in Long Island. Can we call him after this? Can we I get call on the phone him right with him? fucking now. You want to call Dr. Nick? Let me Nick? call him right now. Wow, we're going to get Dr. Nick live on Let the Let me live. fucking call him right now. Ask if I could text him my shit, too. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, you know, he's a doctor, so he may have his hand in somebody's ass right as we speak. That'd be sick if he'd pick it up on the tooth. Yeah, let's find it. He actually just texted me. Here we go. Let's call him. How do you soon. know this kid? He uh he used to come to Marion Square where I like really started comedy Donnell Rowling's room once a month. Remember. I don't know that place. And uh, he was in medical school at the time. He's a Greek kid, bad, and um we became friends. Let me yeah. See if he picks up. And he's a GI, huh? Huh? He's. A Hello. Yeah. Nick. Hello. Nico. Hey, what's up? It's Yanni. How you doing? I'm good, man. Actually, I just left work. Oh, uh, you so perfect. You, you put some scopes and some asses. Sure did. Well, yeah. guess what? We're uh, we're uh, live right now on History Hyenas. I know you're a big fan of the podcast. Me and Chrissy. Oh, yes, hyenas. I, I believe I have to donate to that uh, Patreon page. Oh, yes, you do, cuz. Goddamn right you do. You got doctor money. Come on, cuz. Yeah, I was getting jealous. You guys are talking about buttholes. I saw the Bainridge Boys last episode. I know it should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got next up. <laughs> So listen, actually, that's exactly why we're calling you. First of all, I want to say hello, and secondly, definitely want to do that comedy show to raise awareness. But guess what, Chris what just up? Chris just came from the gastroenterologist, right? Uh -oh. He had a little blood in his poo. Uh, he over he has a portfolio of poos. Yeah, so, I got like I got like five or six poos over the last month. So he's getting oh he's getting uh he's getting a colonoscopy on Wednesday. He's getting a Wednesday, so he's got some questions. Nick, he wants to ask you some questions. What's up, Doctor sure. Nick? Chris. Good, buddy. Can you hear? You can hear me, right? Not so well. You're a little muffled. Put it into your oh, mic. Okay, here, Put here, it into here, your here mic. Can you hear me now? Put it up against the mic. Yeah, here, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, no, so so what I want, because he said he said he's not even sure if it's blood. He's like, I don't know. Off the picture, I can't tell. He's like, I just want to do a colonoscopy to make sure. He's like, it could be dehydration. He said, but, you know, I just want to make sure. But I'm still nervous. I got to get a colonoscopy. Like, when it's, when it's really bad, can you tell from a pic? Or you can only know when you get in the butt? <laughs> It's, it can be a lot of different things. So, like a young guy like you, it's probably some angry roids, you know? It's just so, a flared up hemorrhoids that make bleeding when you go to the bathroom. But, 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 he's, but it could be, I'm also having lower left abdominal pain. So, you think that is that, could that be an internal hemorrhoid? Uh, internal hemorrhoids. You can also have diverticulosis, which is just some outcoutchings. Right. Of the colon, which is not the same as itis. You're, you know, some stuff, right? You have your uh, physical therapist degree. So you yes. You know the, the language. Yes, I do. So, you know, pain could be diverticulitis. It could be a lot of different things. So a scope's not unreasonable. Quite frankly, I think people should be getting earlier anyway in life. Right. I had a whole bunch of people that I took some rectal cancers out of that are our age. I'm really? I'm going to be 38 on Thursday. Yeah. 
I had like three or four people already that I, young people like us. They wow. Did, I did do a full blown, you know, rectal resection with an anastomosis, ostomy, whole thing. Really? And were they have were their symptoms subtle or their symptoms were pronounced? They had some bleeding and, uh, and and then somebody examined them. You put your finger up there and you feel something that's not supposed to be there. Or you get a colonoscopy because the colon's long. You know, you, that was for rectal. Like, you could feel it when you put your finger in from below. Right. All right. But, so uh, so I shouldn't be so worried that the doctors asked me to do a colonoscopy at such a young age. No, it's reasonable. And then once you get it and there's nothing there, God willing, you know, then you have a nice clean bill of health for several years. Yeah, yeah. You got the roids. You know who to call. Absolutely. Yo, honestly, I've, I'm, yeah, my, I like my doc, but if, yo, if I, I, I sometimes, if, if I want to get, the next time I want to get somebody in my ass, I want to go Greek. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, we know what we're doing back there. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys are the champs. You've been doing it for 2,000 years. Now ask them. Exactly. Ask, in our blood. Ask them, like, somebody, uh, okay. Nick, somebody. Well, here, Giannis has a call. Hold on. Yeah. Here, I'll pass it back. Thank you, Dr. Nick. With somebody like Chris, who's got such a big ass, a 38 waist, is it, do you guys need bigger stirrups or, like, a wider couch to put them on, or? Yeah, we might have to reinforce the bed a little bit, you know? Right, yeah, things yeah. Things like that. Yeah, and also, he takes a lot of dicks in the ass. Could it just be like a little leftover little piece of dick stuck in there? That happens. That, that can happen. I'm not going to rule that out. Yeah, it could, it could be that, yeah. Chris. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be embarrassing if I shit out a condom. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, what I learned from Nick is that uh, people should get checked, man. I, I, when are they going to uh, lower the age? Because it's important everybody gets gets that scope in there. I know it's a big uh, thing because yeah, ideally you'd screen everybody, right? But the whole there's risk to it. You got to get anesthesia, and uh, you know every couple thousand of them, somebody makes a hole in the colon that's not supposed to be there, and then they have to call me. Right. By the way, I also do colonoscopies, so if any of your people want to come get hooked up. Come see me in the office. I'll do it for you. Now, when, where's where, your office? Real quick, where's your office? Let the people know. Cause out in Great Neck. Out in Great Neck. Long Island. Long Island. Can I Long text Island, him? Yeah. Ask him if I can text him pics of my poop when we get off, when we get him off the line. Can, can you just give me his number? Can he text you pics of his poop? He wants to know, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he no said problem. he'll take a look at I your get shit. Those all the time. Yeah. All right, great. So the text, I got in. The text is coming. It's coming as soon as I get that number in the next two minutes. At, at, what does Chris have to look forward to drinking that fucking battery acid the twenty four hours before? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna have an experience like you've never had before. Am I gonna get cramping and stuff? Is it gonna hurt? I don't think he can hear me. Let me ask him. You're gonna piss out. You're gonna piss out water. Right. So it's not going to hurt. It's it's not because uh, I they said they could cause like cramping and pain, but is it really just going to be a lot of diarrhea and shit? Yeah, a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> so like so like I have to watch I have to watch my two year old tomorrow. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, just stay home. You know, like Daddy's got to go to the bathroom. Yes, again, again. Stay close to the toilet. Stay close to the bathroom. Right, 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 right. It's just it's never going to stop. It's going to be all day. It's going to go all night, yeah. And then you're going to hopefully be cleared out. You're going to go clear, and then the guy is going to get a good look at everything in there. Chris, it's the same thing like when you get an animal and you prepare for gay I, sex. Just clean just it out. Gay, all right. Same thing. You've done it before. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, because I'm doing it 12 <laughs> o'clock on Wednesday, it was telling me I got to start taking my colon blow, you know, 24 hours before, and then the last dose of it, I got to take 8 o'clock that morning. What if I have to shit myself on the cab ride in? One day when I was doing scopes in my office, and then there was some major thing on the LIE, and all my patients, I was just like, they're all sitting in dead stop traffic with like a colon full of like liquid. <laughs> just, I was just waiting for them to all show up covered in shit, and they're holding down in the backyard in the back of the office. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, the more so, so when I, if I got an appointment at twelve o'clock on Wednesday at ten a.m. on Wednesday, it's I'm going to be holding in a shit for two hours. It's going to, it's going to be this lead. The lead up's going to be have brutal. Gone through by then, you know, it's a lot of times you know the way it passes, and then by then you're you're all right. But there's no guarantees. I'll you put it, keep some plastic bags around. I'll put it to you this way, Chris. When I yeah. went there, I shit right before I I I I, I pissed out uh, shit. Like 10 minutes before I went into the exam room. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I'll ju I'm just going to have to shit in the exam room. Yeah, you're just going to deal with it. Wait, you're hold just... on, Nick. Hold on. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm texting you my shit right now. <laughs> All right, hold on. Should be coming in. Hold on. Let me, uh, maybe, we, maybe, maybe if you get him right now, we can just, you can give me a diagnosis. What? Get a live reaction. Yeah. Get a live reaction. Yeah, here. Oh, I hope, I hope this is the right number. Uh, yep. God, here we go. Yeah, you got you got three big boys coming in. <laughs>
You got to put him up to the mic. He can't hear you. Cut. We can't well, hear. No, him. I can't. Right, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Did they come through? He's driving. Oh yeah. Are you driving or are you sitting? Yeah. What do we got there? Uh, oh Jesus. <laughs> what do you think? Like, Don't get into an accident. Last the last one, right, is the problem. That's a little nutty. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of that one? Can you tell if he's been no, eating I, sweets, I though? I, I, you got to get a colonoscopy. That's like a must. Get a no, colon. It looks like I can't tell. You know, I'm, I'm actually driving, so I'm not gonna go nuts with this. But yeah, the other two look like nice solid turds. You know, like nothing too crazy. But that one. Yeah, it's got like a. Mu it's I'm got. Mutagious. Yeah, it's got like a it's got like a white ball in it. It's got like a mucus ball, and then it's like coated red a little bit. Could be diverticulosis, and you had like a diverticular bleed. That's what it's look. It, that would be the guess. Most likely hemorrhoids. Second second candidate would be a diverticular bleed. And uh, you constipated all the time, or you know, I, not constipated, diver, not constipated. Okay. The the only real symptom is the lower left abdominal pain. All right. Well, get it checked out. You know. Yeah. All right. Let me know. Will the colon? Any questions? Then call me anytime. Will the colon? Will the colonoscopy show diverticulosis or di Yeah. 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 You'll see the little out pouchings. Yeah. Uh, it might not show that that was source of bleeding. You might have hemorrhoids and diverticuli, and then there's nothing else actively bleeding, so you're not going to catch it. But the most likely thing is your age would be a hemorrhoid. And, but you can't tell. But you can't tell. You can't say like that's fucking not cancer either. You just don't know until you get in there. They got to get in there, Chrissy. Yeah, yeah. The, the stool itself doesn't tell you if there's cancer or not. You got to. You got to actually look. They got to yeah. suit up and go. And can you ask Nick what made him want to become an ass doctor? Nick, what made you want to become an ass doctor? <laughs> oh, well, the Greek. The Greek. This was the start. You know. Right. Um, I'll tell you what. I don't. I did a lot of trauma around the city, Jamaica, downtown St. Vincent, all those places. And it's exciting when you're young, but I'll tell you, I don't want to be running into the hospital or sleeping in the hospital every third night to go take care of, like, you know, the gangbanger that just tells me to go fuck myself when I'm just discharging him, you know? Right, and, right. So, colon is structured, you know, people come to the office, they have usually been seen by a number of different doctors and then sent to me because of specialty. And then I book them for surgery, and we do surgery, and it's a controlled thing. I you know, robotic surgery, the laparoscopic surgery, and then there's also the proctology stuff that everybody likes to laugh about. But bottom line, if you got a problem with your asshole, you know, you're going to show up. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be, your attention's going to be granted. Absolutely. Now check it out. Ask him. Yeah. Ask him uh, when are, when they go under uh -huh. and, and they're under and they're sleeping and he's about to put the scope in. Does he have to check out his nut? Do you ever check out the nuts and dick just to you, say? Do you ever when you when you when you got the patient asleep and you put the scope and you ever just take a look at the nuts and nuts and dick just to you know be thorough? <laughs> uh, no, well, you can't do it, right? Uh, yeah, well, it's all there. I mean, you, if it's something wildly abnormal, you'll catch it. Like people get like I heard you talking about wart or something on the last show. Yeah, like those things can get all over you, all over down there. And if I see them in the back, I'll, I'll check the front. No, but I mean, do you ever check the front just to see if it's cute? <laughs> now, you ever, you ever, you ever got the scope up there and like you, you just see like a matchbox car or something? <laughs> yeah, dude. Back in the day when I was downtown at St. Vincent, that, that hospital's gone now. Yeah. But there was a lot of stuff that we used to find up in there. That's you were not supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me ask you this: When I get it on Wednesday, will will after the cert, will after the procedure, will my Wednesday be ruined? Or once it's done, I'm good to go. You're and good I'll, to go. I can do shows Wednesday night. Uh, you should be probably all right. I wouldn't drive because you got to have anesthesia, and then um, it depends if they use air or carbon dioxide to to blow up the inside because carbon dioxide actually gets reabsorbed into okay. your bloodstream and then you breathe out the, the gas. Um, the air gets stuck in there and you basically have to pass it off. So you're going to be ripping crazy parts out there. Well, he yeah. does that anyway. Yeah, I do that anyway. I fucking fart it up. <laughs> well, you can request them to give you air then and you can just like take it to another level. Yeah, and, and then, yeah, well, I'll do a podcast of just my farts. You're going to be starving. What I did right after mine was I got a fat, juicy burger. You're going to be fucking, you're not going to eat for 24 hours. When you did yours, Giannis, did you send pictures of your poop to him or no? Uh, no, he's the one that told me to do it, though. I told him about the symptoms and he told me to do it. I just didn't go to him because I'm friends with him, so I just didn't feel weird because I think, I was thinking when he, 
put me under, he was going to take a look at my dick. I didn't. I, you know, I just thought that was weird. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I want yeah. my dick to be presentable if my friends see it. Well, you know? no, no, no. I think I think the truth is is you didn't you didn't want him to do it because then he would out your secret of that you don't have a dick, you got a vagina. You're really Marisa. <laughs> I've been saying that, Nick. You know what the truth is? Is Giannis? I know you know Giannis as Greek Giannis Papas, but the whole thing that he's been pulling over our heads for the longest time is that the he really is Marisa. He really is a post op transsexual. He got the surgery. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so he's a post op. So, but uh, listen, Doctor Nick, I really, I appreciate it. You want I, this? This is great. Yeah, yeah. All right, hey, no problem. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, give me any time. Thank Thanks. you so much, Doctor Nick. Do you want to tell the people? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you want to just tell the people like what hospital you're at if they want to go? Yeah, if you want to come, uh, you know, in all seriousness, if you if you want to be checked out, uh, screened, and things like that, or you have any concerns about your colon health, we're at the Center for Diseases of the Colon and Rectum which is based in Great Neck, and we operate out of Manhasset, North Shore Manhasset, and uh, LIJ. And it'll be a very different conversation when you come to the office. You know, I, I keep things like in fight, but, uh, you know, no joking around. We'll have a serious conversation and make sure that you're healthy. And, uh, and uh, we'll do whatever we need to do to keep, to keep you that way, okay? Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks Nick. My friend. Long, that's uh, in Long Island. I'll speak to you soon, Nick. Thanks, man. Yeah, take care, guys. Have a good day. Thank man. you. Yeah, Nick is a true blue doctor. You know, he jokes he's around. A he's a comedy fan, but you know, he's an actual real doctor. So he doesn't. Uh, you know, it's not. It's all serious business in there. So if you do have any concerns and you live and you live out on the island, go talk to Nick. Uh, hit me up, message me. I'll give you his info. Whatever you want. Yeah, no, Doctor Nick is. Uh, he's a good dude, and he. Um, yeah, he just fucking. You know, I mean, the fact that I just. I mean, see, like that's that's the thing with like, you know, I guess being a doctor. Just, I mean, just. Life. I mean, he was just driving along, having a good day, probably going to go see his wife. And then I sent him three pictures of fucking blood shits <laughs> while he's just, you know, he just left the office. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys got a different stomach, even though you're a physical therapist. You know, you, you like you said, you're eating noodles over a cadaver. You guys have different stomachs. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. When I was in the GI doctor today, I was I was like, I was prepping. I was like, I'm sorry about this. And he was like, every, this is every day. Somebody yeah. shows me pictures of yeah, this. He's going to go have fucking Chinese right after that. He doesn't that. care. He could no. probably be eating while it doesn't matter. Yeah. He's going to put, he goes, scopes up, goes in. Uh, burns out a couple of uh, yeah. polyps, and then he goes, okay, let's eat. Who wants, uh, yeah. let's go to falafel. He's good. The smell of burning out a polyp in somebody's wet asshole has got to be not appetizing. No, nah, it can't be great, but he's used to it, you know? I mean, so you were, yeah. When you did it, were you you were awake the whole time? You I mean, remember just talk shit? About, look, I was, we were going to give out award, like our first week of awards today, but you know who the... Who you know who the fucking true blue gays are? I was gonna give it to Kanye West for his Twitter. Okay, but we're the the, the true blue gays of the week are us again yeah. because we're so fucking wild. Yeah, we came in here with an agenda, but we spent we have spent the first twenty five minutes of this podcast <laughs> talking about the inside of your asshole because we are fucking hyena, fucking true blue gays. So we, uh, so, so the uh, true blue gays of the week, Chrissy D and Yanni P. So should the PPW pseudo penis of the week be my rectum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, your asshole, your smash bean, your two hole, cause is the PPW. How fucking wild is it that just weeks after we unleash fucking two shooter? Yeah, I gotta get. I'm someone's going up into my fucking piece. Yeah, just, how crazy is that? We just released episode five of Bay Ridge Boys, where we both got uh, prostate exams, and now Chrissy's got to have somebody go up and give him a colonoscopy. I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, let look. Hopefully, it's nothing. It probably is not. Yeah, well, I mean, he said, I mean, his probably guess some hemorrhoids. Roy, yeah, his, his guess was right. Yeah, but whatever it is, you're gonna have peace of mind no matter what it is. Look, if it's something, they're catching it early, so you're gonna be fine no but matter which way. You told me if it's it. something, no matter they can't do anything, and I'm done. No, they're catching it early because you would have had some symptoms. They're catching it early. You're gonna be fine, cause you're an athlete. You, you know, you stop shook. You're, you're good, cause all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I drink. You lemon. get blood work every three days. Yeah, I mean, you're a neurotic Jew. Well, yeah, you're not German. If anything, the Germans would would have put you down in the 40s. Oh, the yeah, they because yeah. you're more jew than you are german That's you're, you're neurotic yeah. yeah yeah i mean because you know what are you gonna do you germans know? don't have feelings they don't have they don't go to the doctor until they find out they got cancer and they're going down it's good That's yeah. not you cuz no it's good to take a look yeah took a quick look you're gonna be fine and look if you do go down you know yeah we can replace you with uh you know Vinny from jersey shore or Easy. 
you know. Well, when you were splooging blood, did you think you were going down the night before? I yeah, I thought I was going down, but at that point, you know, at that point, I had accepted that, that we're all going down. Guys, uh, I want you know join our Patreon page, patreoncom uh, slash Bay Ridge Boys, our community, and right on the community board. Or if if you don't want to join our Patreon, just tweet us. What would you rather do? Would you rather splooge blood or shit blood? <laughs> That's the question of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I got to tell you right now, because you're such a fucking wild. Uh, true blue gay yeah don't go and post pictures of your asshole on our patreon page or anything like that <laughs> but you know i want you to i know you do i want to get the feedback from the people i know but yeah. you can't do it cuz they're gonna shut down our patreon page yeah. if you bend over and spread open <laughs> your asshole. to show people to see yeah. hey is anyone a doctor out there uh, yeah you know what i mean <laughs> yeah I'm a, i I mean how funny would it have been because i copied dr nick's uh phone number from your phone if i would have sent if i would have got one digit off and then some poor <laughs> school teacher going to pick up our beautiful kids just gets pictures of three fucking turds in a row how fucking horrible would it have been if you were sending him those pictures while he was driving and he drove right into a goddamn divider yeah. looking at pictures of your shit yeah. and that doctor died on history hyenas looking at your shit and the last thing that he saw was your fucking portfolio of poo yo honestly cause that'd be a sad day but we'd be number one on iTunes <laughs> 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 People would have to listen to that app, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Dr. Nick, you know he's silver a fucking, lining. And Dr. Nick is a fucking TBG True Blue Gay, he's so he would gay. he would know that it's for the good cause. Dude, what do you think it's like to look at assholes all, all day? All day. All day, every day. Every single His day. job is exclusively yep. to look at assholes. Nothing, he, you know, that's specifically what they do. Yeah. They're specialists. So it's not like he can mix it up and go like, I'm sick of this. It's like... Imagine you had to do the same one specific thing every single day. Like, we switch it up. We do podcasts. We do a little acting. Mostly we do stand-up. We'll write something. We get to at least, you know, switch it up. This dude, every day, is specifically looking inside people's smash beans. Yeah, every single day. And he's just, he texted me, thank you, um, you know, for calling me. It was great to talk to you guys. He said uh, Bill Burr turns 50 and he'd be honored to do his colonoscopy. Yeah, I know. He yeah. keeps bringing it up. But I, yeah, you know, it's I, hilarious. Yeah, he says he wants to do a benefit with Bill Burr, but I just got to tell him. And give him colonoscopy like, live yeah, on the I, show? Yeah, I mean, I just like, I don't know how to reach out. You got, I'm going to give him Verzi's number and be like, hey, you know, reach out to Verzi. I don't know. And uh, maybe Verzi can reach out to him. He wants to do like a big comedy show. To uh, raise awareness, which I'm down to do. To raise awareness that people should be getting their assholes checked. Yeah, because, I mean, and you know, look. I, oh, I just I just got a text notification that my fucking call and blow is ready. There you go. My call and blow is ready. Yeah, so you're going to be doing it because it's yeah. not that big a deal. Yeah. Here's the thing. I've done it already. So you have a friend who's done it. Yeah. It's great that you're doing it. So you, you coming into the room with me or it's what? It's great that something happened that's making you do it. Because so you great. think everybody, so you think, is this doctor saying people at 30 years old should be doing this? He said, yeah, he think, yeah, wow. because he's telling you, he, he just said people our age come in. It's like, yeah, yeah they recommended it fit. But look, um, the American diet is such garbage right? that, you know, it, it, the, it's going to be like, the, the new age is going to be like 15 pretty soon. Be like everyone right. come in and get regular checks. He's being, he's telling you like, ideally people should get regular checks. And I, I'm just, yeah, I went once and then they give you five years. You got to keep going. So, so once you go, so once, once you, you go, go, you go, every you go five. for five. I don't have to worry about calling shit for five. Five. If, yeah. if I'm all good. Yeah. Nothing's going to grow in there for five. They keep checking you out. You know, I mean, yeah. of course, if you have symptoms, you go in. But yeah, yeah, it's great peace of mind. Do you think that there's potential that the doctor's going to leave the camera in my ass and watch it from the fucking <laughs> nest at home? I, I, there's a good chance he's going to leave that camera in there and fucking record it because you got inside there's going to be pretty kill. It's pretty kill. So he's going to want to keep that for posterity. Yo, cause he's going to be like, this is the cutest inside of an asshole I've ever seen. Because he may have to, he may have to back out the holes and put a new. He doesn't understand. He couldn't believe when I said I have a size 38 waist because they asked you that. He couldn't believe. It. He said, No. I said, Yeah. 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 The he's inside of most big. people's ass assholes look like a fucking studio apartment yeah. yours is gonna look like a mansion a mansion I got a lot a, of room in there I got a four baddie washer dryer cause you got a big dumper <laughs> yeah you, you, you walk a around ass. with a big dumper cause yeah I, I walk around with a big big dumper when dump. you walk upstairs you mouth breathe cause you're carrying a fucking load in your ass yeah and, and my farts they don't stink but they're loud yeah <laughs> you think my farts stink um, I mean whose fart doesn't stink yeah your farts gotta stink right yeah cause you fart a lot though you fart a lot, like, or maybe I, maybe it's just because you're so you rude and you do it in public. I can't tell. Maybe you well, fart. But, 
on as as much as everyone else, you just let them go and let everybody know you're doing it. Do you I mean, you're a grown adult, and you'll just fart. You'll yeah, fart no, anywhere. I'm a grown man. Do you fart on the planes? Like no problem, just let them out. It depends. Um, I only fart. I, the only times I start to rip farts is when my seatmate falls asleep. <laughs> then I start ripping ass. <laughs> but if they're awake, I won't do it. Yeah. But no. Nah, but normally I'm in extra leg room. So when I'm in extra leg room, I can fart it up, fart it up. This episode so so far has been all hyena. Yeah. No history. No history. We all start- wild. No fucking agenda. The first minute you guys got excited because I was like, when we start off the history of Austin, I was like, wait, 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 I fucking got, I want to talk about my asshole. <laughs> I don't, I don't play by the rules. As no, Giannis has no. said, we came in with the whole idea. We're just going to talk about the history of Austin. And Giannis was like, all right, don't talk about the calling on the podcast. And I immediately talked about the calling Listen, on the podcast. We got like three or four guys making us, we have like a meme factor. We got our own meme factor yeah. going. Andrew I mean, Agos, we, Jeff Anicia. We get a fucking you. meme every other, and the other one, Metzgol or Metzgol. Oh, Jeremiah Metzger. 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 Yeah, thank yeah. you. So listen, guys, can you make us one of those where uh, from the last episode where I'm walking Chrissy up to the hills in Poughkeepsie yeah. and I'm putting a bullet in his head? Please make us one of those. I don't yeah. know, from Goodfellas yeah. or something, because yeah, he doesn't, He do, he's too fucking wild. Yeah. You are too fucking wild, cuz. Yeah. You're not good for the order in law. Yeah. You're not good. Yeah, I mean, I was fucking, I was going wild, you know, so Austin, Texas, um, I was there this week. Is that where you started getting worried about your poo in Austin? Well, it's interesting because the doctor was like, because I, well, I was in Austin, Texas this, this past weekend for Moon Tower Comedy Festival, which is great. Go to, you know, fans, next year it's over now. Go next year to Moon Tower Comedy Festival. It's fantastic. Um I, I guess because I was alone in the hotel, I started to feel like symptoms, like in the lower left stomach. And I start to look at, you know, look at my shits. I actually took shits out of the toilet with my bare hands a couple of times <laughs> to inspect it. I did that a couple of times and I just threw the towels out the window. Um, so I did that. Yeah, because in the doctor even asked, the doctor was like, you know, because I have the picture of my poop. Because you I'm threw holding the towel it, out the window? I'm holding it in my toilet. Yeah, I mean, I can't. What was I going to do, cuz? What was I supposed to do? That's right. You can't really hide it. Yeah, I put in a shopping bag. I was on the second floor. I put in a shopping bag. I threw it out the window. I mean, what am I going to do? You're not, I was making grabbing, New York, I was, you're not making New York look But good, I was grabbing man. turds out of the toilet with my bare hands. Because you're not making the case for us ethnic people in front of Bardo. I know. Yeah. You're making everything his family talks about us is now the stereotype. He's going to go back to his family dinner and say, yeah, they, they do stuff like fucking pull poop with their bare hands out of toilets and put them on towels and then throw them out the window of hotels. Do you understand what you're just saying? And you're and you're texting at the same I'm, time. I'm texting the doctor I next. want a fucking gun f- to kill you, cuz. I don't want a gun to defend myself. I want a gun to put one in. I want to fucking put a bullet in that big head. Cuz, listen, I know I know my methods are unorthodox. I understand that. No, like, I don't know. That's should I be grab, Should I be grabbing poo out of the toilet? No, no. But I mean, I was all alone. You know, I fucking I was having anxiety. I did you, you know, feel like there was a ghost in there watching? No, you? the ghosts aren't really bother. Didn't bother me too much in They're Austin. They're not in Austin, right? No, nah, the ghosts. I don't think they. They don't really go down south. Right. The ghosts. It's, ghosts are more of a northern thing. Yeah. And I just felt ghosts like ghosts are liberal, huh? Yeah, ghosts are more liberal. Yeah. And but I Austin's just, a liberal town. Oh, and I just felt like. You know, I was like, look, I was nervous. I was, I, you know, I was drinking a lot of coffee. I coughed up too much. I was fucking coughed out every single day yeah. in Austin. So I started drinking green tea. Plus, you don't, you just don't do good outside of New York City. No, I can't do it. Like my <laughs> agent has now offered me three weekends in a row for July. And I've said no to all of them <laughs> because I just don't want to leave New York. Just, and she's like, she's like, well, y- you have to make money somehow. I'm like, yeah. nah, I just fucking, yeah. I don't know, I'll sell hot dogs in New York. Yeah, you just don't do well. Outside. It's kind of funny. Yeah. It's like if you took a fish out of a pond, like the fish is just like me back in that water yeah you just you you do not do it and people think i'm joking it's it's yeah i can't do it you just don't do well outside of new york well like a gig that we got we're gonna do we're, july 1st we're gonna be in stone harbor uh new jersey and the guy who the promoter of the show soul joel shout out soul joel um oh oh here we go F- fucking dr nick needs us to edit out the part where he cursed all right cool. all right yeah. just so you know so you guys will never hear that okay but just so you know. Yeah, but he doesn't have to worry. Like, there's no, like, professionals no. listening to this. I get it, though. But I get it, though. He's a professional. He's a pro. He's a pro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got Can you edit that out? Yeah. Yeah. But that, just leave the part in where I told you to edit that out <laughs> in here. Just don't edit this part out. So yeah. then people be like, what the fuck they edit yeah, out? Yeah, what never find out. Yeah, you get carried. The only way you'll find out is your PPW. That, Somehow, Rafael DeLuca will find out what we edit out and make it a fucking remix. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Rafael DeLuca DeLuca <laughs> Oh shit I forgot I fucking invited uh, Mike Cannon on the podcast Is that alright or Today? Yeah Is he here? No, nah, I th- think he's coming I forgot I invited him I mean maybe you could just go on the Patreon part I just forgot Yeah. So where is he? 
I mean, uh, why are you telling me now? He's because he, I just we're, we're on air right now. Yeah, we're, I know. Uh, we're taking we're talking about your asshole. You're inviting your friends down. <laughs> Look, yeah. as long as I, it's, it's somebody I know, I'm fine. Yeah, because last time you invited Rafael DeLuca here, yeah. the kid could have walked up here with a gun. Yeah. and shot us off. You know what's? And I don't think it's too far. I don't think it's uh, too much of a coincidence that the second Rafael DeLuca comes into our life, I start shitting blood. <laughs> <laughs> After Where's those smoothies? Uh, he said he'd be here by five fifteen. I can't believe I forgot to. To ask it. Yeah, ask well, why it. would you tell him to come at 5.15 if well, we record at 4? Because. You don't know. I'm wild, no? You're fucking wild! See, that's why I need cookies. That is literally in 4 to 5, we record the hour, and then 5 to 5.15, we record the bonus. So yeah. you talk, right, well, you know. You said, you said, yo, come be, come down be on the podcast. Just come after the podcast. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you know what? I'm buying Pete's then. Yo, ISIS. Zach. What do you think? Does your organization even want to put him down, or you don't even need to? He's not a no, threat. He's, a, he he's too disorderly. Wild yeah. every yeah. week. I'll just because I think you guys are confident. I'll just put myself down. Somehow. Yeah, you don't need to put him down. Yeah. I just don't want to take out Chrissy D. Yeah, the world. You're like you know when Hannibal Lecter's talking on the phone with uh, Jody Foster at the end. She's like, "Don't worry, Clarice. I won't come calling on you because the world's more interesting you with your." Clarice to Isis. Wow. When Isis thinks about you, guys, they they call you on the phone. They go, "Don't worry, Clarice. The world's more uh, more fun with you in it. We're, we're, uh, we're not going to come for you behind the other They want you roaming free, causing chaos because yeah. they're not chaos. Supposed to hear that phone call. I wasn't right. Yeah, no, well, fuck. That's right. I got Clutch, it. did you see that video? The guy, one of our fans, tagged us in petting an actual hyena. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Yeah, fucking wild. Those are hyenas in captivity, though. Yeah, you know, this so guy. Really, the yeah. picture that we have up that Zach always puts a picture of wild hyena up. This one is is truly disgusting. It's missing teeth somehow. Yeah. It's gotten its <laughs> teeth knocked out. We have no. Looks idea. like a hyena meth head. Yeah, yeah. It's somehow. I mean, we you know it. It's just got its teeth knocked out. Yeah, and its eyes don't open. So we don't know how this thing lives. And it's got strawberry patch on its fucking tongue. Yo, the the. Teeth Teeth of hyena are yellow. This yeah. dude looks like they all look like smokers. Yeah, they probably smoke. Yeah, but I get you. You know what? Chewing the bones and organs of animals probably, you know, and then throwing them back up. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of fucking stomach acid on their teeth. Yeah, they're they're horrific. So how was Austin? Okay, so Austin, Texas, great city, capital of Texas. Yeah, and uh, you it's know. not often that the capital of a state is also like such a cool spot cool spot how many it's like phoenix phoenix is dope you got um phoenix and austin phoenix and austin i mean uh boston massachusetts is good boston that's a boston's capital another good one, yeah uh you got uh nobody yeah. goes to albany no albany yeah. kind of stinks you new know? jersey just has no nothing fun in it i mean what's the uh, the capital of uh of california sacramento. sacramento you know nobody cares vegas isn't even the capital of nevada no yeah that's a good point austin is actually like a fun happening capital that's actually a very good point yeah um was it named after uh steve austin the five billion oh, million no, dollar man it was named after austin powers austin powers <laughs> You heard it here on History Hyenas. Yeah, cuz. Yeah. So Austin, so it's the capital of Texas. What I like about Austin is it, I was doing a comedy festival called the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. And the reason why- Lots it's called, of gays there too. That's what you like about time, it. Yeah, that's why I went down. That's why my ass is bleeding. Um, <laughs> and Moon Tower, Moon Tower Comedy Festival. And the reason why it's called Moon Tower is because Austin is the only city in the world that still has a moon tower. And what a moon tower is, it's like some tower that they put up in a field. It's like goes real high and it that uses the light of the moon to light up the neighbor or like light up uh, um, like the property. That's but fucking Austin's dope. But Austin's the only city in the world who still has one. Wow. How fucking world How do they that? do it? They reflect the- It reflects the, the moonlight. That's yeah. fucking great. Yeah. Did uh yeah uh, somebody's got to tell Austin that we have electricity now? So yeah, they don't know. Well, they're we don't very, need that anymore. They're very gentrified. There, they're very hipster. Yeah. They're very. Uh, I saw. I put videos up of it uh, up on my Instagram. I saw about. I'm not lying to you, Giannis. I saw about ten protests in three days. They protest a lot down yeah, there. Yeah, because right? University of Texas Austin is right there, and they're triggered. Yo, Austin is like a pretty liberal town surrounded by Texas. Yeah, see, it's, it's kind of weird. It's a left. It's 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 a blue spot in a red state. So, yeah. yeah, it's it's. It's a little crazy because if you go just an hour outside of Austin in any direction, the politics change drastically. Yeah, well, I guess that's kind of similar in, to every city. I though. mean, look at Long Island. You go Long on Island? fucking Long Island. Staten I mean, Island? You got a lot of Trump signs in Long Island. I bet and you over, Ridgewood. And, and, even Ridgewood, Queens. Ridgewood, you got some Trump signs. And then here in the West Village, you got guys cutting their dicks off because Hillary lost. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is yeah i mean uh, most cities are like that yeah it's true but I even think, new york state even you drive up anywhere into new york state yeah you know? but new york is still predominantly i would say blue where texas is i mean texas is the red state 
And Austin cannot be any different. It's interesting to see, though, like, to see, like, a hipster person, like, order quinoa with their fucking southern accent. Because normally those those people don't eat that shit. But in Austin, yeah. there's every, a lot of girls with tattoos. Yeah. A lot of tats out in Austin. White girls with ta tattoos. A lot of white girls with tattoos. Yeah, a lot of beautiful women. Oh, Austin, my God, beautiful women. Doesn't Austin almost look like the new Brooklyn of Texas? Absolutely. It looks like yeah. the Williamsburg. Of, yeah, it looks like a, a big southern smorgasbord. There's a couple of those cities now, right? Like Portland, Austin. Portland, Portland I don't like as much because Portland, I felt Seattle. like- Seattle. Portland's very like, I feel like they're like- they're so hipster, but like they just like like they're homeless on purpose in yeah. Austin, uh, in Portland, where yeah. it's like, what are you doing? Where Austin is like, the dude's homeless because he's going through some shit, and like the hipsters are just hipsters. But like Portland, they're like bohemian. Portland's more bohemian. Yeah. But it's like that always bothers me because like, dude, I know you probably have more money than me, so why are you asking me for five bucks? Yeah. They're cho they, they choose to live outside. Choose. There. Yeah. It's like a it's like a fucking uh it's like a project for them. Well, here's a new nice little fact. Austin is the fastest growing city in the United States. People really? are flocking to Austin like no other place. Why? You were there. What's it? Is it the guys? Is it raining men out there? Well, it's raining men, hallelujah, number one. Number two, it's a fucking big time party. It's a huge party town, Austin. Like really great. Like they close down the streets there and it's a lot of fun, but the property value is low. Like you can get a fucking, I was looking, cause you know me, when I go to another city, what I do is I make believe like I'm interested in renting an apartment there. I've done this with the honest couple of times and the and sometimes they can smell it out, but usually I'll take another male comedian with me and I'll tell them to like make believe we're a gay couples because they can't refuse us then. And I look and I looked at a couple of high rise apartments in Austin that were like twenty two hundred dollars, floor to ceiling windows, two beds, two baths. They would be forty five hundred in New York and it's, you know, two beds, two baths, uh floor to ceiling windows, wraparound views of Austin for twenty two, twenty three hundred right downtown. So wow. the, the the value, the property value is low there. Yeah. Yeah. I may move to Austin. You know how I roll. They got skylines there? They got a they skyline? got a nice little skyline. Yeah, they got the river. We saw the bats. They got a lot of bats bats there bats yeah the bats they got 750,000 bats a night um will come from under this one bridge uh when the sun goes down and you look at these bats i'm not a fan of that i didn't like it fuck no. a bats wild i didn't love it cuz jesus christ i'm not a bat guy yeah so uh yeah since from 2010 to 2016 the census the population has increased from uh 790 some odd thousand to a fucking mill so to basically mill? around now it's like a mill it's going to be over a mill city. pretty soon and i'm sure that doesn't include the austin area right but yo it's a wild state texas is a wild state because it is texas was its own republic at one point yeah and they tr they want to be their own they want you know in uh, alamo they want to be their own fucking country they they almost still kind of act like w that, that way a little bit well i mean i wouldn't be i wouldn't be too shocked if they still if you know i bet you in our lifetime they'll try to rebel again they do. They're right? so fucking big. So it's like it is a big state. Used to be part of Mexico. No. Um. What What number is Mike supposed to buzz? Four. Yeah. Um. All right. Mike's here. All right. Cool. Bring him up. up. Yeah. Bring him up. Yeah. So <laughs> just inviting people on the podcast. So the area what was uh, settled originally by by whiteies. Yeah. By the first gentrifiers. Yep. The first wave of hey guys. Hey. Came in the 1830s. Right. They They began to uh, settle the area. Uh, in Austin around when they went the, west yeah around the Colorado River a lot of rivers all the good cities have waterways close by well, you need you need a good water what you need a good to water trade. system yeah to trade yeah it's what it is and you and you got vegetation you gotta have a lot of vegetation be, yeah I need more fiber in my diet too so I fit anyone's you, used to be called Waterloo really Austin was originally called Waterloo Isis is nodding after like the Waterloo like like the like in France, it must have been. Why did they name it Water? Can we can we get that fact was real quick? Waterloo in France? Where was the Battle of Waterloo? Bar, b Battle was that of Belgium. Bel it was Belgium. Belgium. Waterloo. Yeah, French Revolution. Battle of right? That's it? where he went down. That's where Napoleon went, went down. down. My cannon. Yo, what's up, my cannon? You could sit down. True blue gate number three. Yeah, yeah. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yo, this is a sausage fest in here. Fuck yeah, let me see a dick. We got comedian uh, Mike Cannon in here. Very, very funny gentleman. Hey, um, 
a straight white man who's married. Sorry, boys, he's off the market. Yep, <laughs> but willing. To we make. got a yeah. huge gay listenership. His wife, right? his yeah. wife's got a good flower business called Buds of Brooklyn. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, there you go. She, does she do weddings and stuff? She does. Yeah, cute. Did she do your wedding? She did. Yeah. Fuck. So you guys got it. You got her cheap. So we got her cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much yeah. did she cost? Free? I'm gonna immediately <laughs> flow into your way of talking. Like I, it's so. Catchy. Well, we've been talking about Chris's asshole the entire episode. Yeah, I gotta get nice. colonoscopy on Wednesday. So we're oh, all shit. slowly turning blood, gay. Yeah. Oh man, and you don't even booze. I know. You ever shit blood, Mike? You like little peppers, like yeah. nothing, like nothing, like full. Like red? Is it red or or maroon? Would you say mine was like more darker was, color? It, it was actually a little translucent. Like so, it was very. It was clearly after like a tough weekend. Right. It wasn't. It, it, it wasn't like <laughs> sickness or anything like that. It was just like you know, I needed to not drink. Are you on an acid gonna... trip right now? Because you are fucking sweating. It's hot out. I am. Uh, it's, it's super hot, hot in yeah. here, dude. Yeah. I oh, walked yeah. all the way down from 14th on sixth, and now I'm just like it's well, catching up. The doctor who we called live on the air. We just, I just, un I just unsolicited pictures of my shit um, <laughs> to him. He was one of Giannis's friends. Said that if you ship, if you have a little blood, you should go, you should go get it checked out. Yeah, go get a colonoscopy. You oh, want to go? You want to get it with me on Wednesday? I'll go. It's funny how you're like you're so now Bay Ridge Boys is just your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's crazy that yeah, like yeah. I was just saying that we just released the episode and now, you know, it's fucking spoke to my asshole. Was it pure 100 percent blood? Like no, 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 no. No. OK. No, don't you worry. See a pic of it. Yeah. He'll send yeah, you I'll a pic. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show it to you. I mean, Jesus. Christ. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> let's just take a look. <laughs> All right. Send me the poo. No. I'll, uh, here. Send me the poo. We're talking about Austin. You've been Austin? No, I haven't actually. Yeah, me neither. I I've mean, Jesus Christ. Look at that. Let me take a look at that. That is like. Dude, that looks like Get out of here. That's almost like made an, me throw up. An overcooked Thai spring roll with chili sauce sprinkled <laughs> all over it. Is that what is that sprinkled out? No, Chris, I can't look I, at it. Yo, Chris, did you I have can't look at like that. Or you Chris, seriously, that? I almost threw up because that looks like a cherry glaze yeah. drizzled on top of dessert. Oh, that God. is yeah. brutal, dude. <laughs> it's fucking brutal. Yo, I literally almost fucking dry heaved my ACE bowl. <laughs> yeah. almost, it almost came up, dude. You got to put it away. That, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get checked out by a team of doctors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got to think that must be a regular occurrence in gay guys' lives just to pull out and there's like a smattering of blood. On yeah. Their oh yeah. Well, I when I I Is this show where we're gonna find out. You take it in the butt. Well, when I showed the doctor it today, I thought I was like, be prepared because it was like brutal. And he just looked at it like he was like, yeah, this is, uh, you know, I'm not too concerned, but we should do a right. colonoscopy. I was like, that doesn't, it looks like my asshole is fucking falling out. And he was like, I've seen a lot worse. It just looks oh, like a glaze. It has a glaze on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got a little mucus on there. Is that what that is? Yeah, but who, you, dude, you eat, what? maybe it's a new smoothie shit. You, you, <laughs> you do a lot of smoothies now, right. so maybe it's a little liquid in well, there. Well, also, I've been, sw I have, I've had a sinus infection. Yeah. Okay. Too. I don't You're going to be those fine. Are con <laughs> connected, but that does look a bit passion fruity. Yeah. So right. perhaps that is just, it just took the quick main line right out. Yeah. And it's just on top of everything else. Yeah, That's did, true. You're yeah. going to be fine, cuz. Well, you You're don't know. But here's the thing. Did that, does that turn you off of sweets? Because the first thing I thought, like, I wouldn't be able to eat anything strawberry related in a while. Like, that kind of looked like a baked good. No, nah, I caught him, go I caught no, him going yeah, into a sweet shop getting a chocolate chip cookie right before this. <laughs> and it was the first time I could see he was he was, he was was genuinely irritated with me. Catching no him, shit. He was genuinely yeah. irritated that I was saying you shouldn't have a cookie. Well, I, He it, wanted the cookie. It wasn't that I was irritated at that. I was just, ir I'm just irritated. Not irritated, anxious that I have to get a colonoscopy now. Sure. So, like, I was just going to, you know, face fuck sweet and i'm like this will make me feel better <laughs> yeah and yeah. then Giannis was there telling me i can't do it so i was like with the camera I do yeah, yeah. That is, no, i don't care about the camera that is like pure like because you are a great looking guy you're in you're in cute shit, kid. You know, you, yeah you're you're say in it, shit say it. he's you're a cute kid you're a cute kid he is a cute kid so, yeah <laughs> for sure he's a fucking cute kid with his money yeah. <laughs> you're a cute kid too cuz you have yeah. like classic Italian fatso medicate my feelings with food yep. syndrome. Like yeah. everything that I have, I'm classic Irish in the sense that I'll drink and I'll, you know, I'll partake Push in drugs down. and shit like that. But you are 100% eat your feelings. Yeah, yeah, I do it all the time. And that even when we were in Austin, um, I haven't been eating meat at all. I've been eating like no red meat. I've been eating mostly like chicken and fish, but Austin, you can't like, you yeah. can't get around it. So like I was having like some stomach pains when I was like, and I was starting to get like really nervous about it. So like a, a normal person, like you're nervous about stomach pains, you're just going to eat something healthy. So you know what? Let me get liquid diet or let me, but me opposite. I was like, let me, I went and I got fucking like peach cobbler. <laughs> then I got like, I got a cut of prime, uh, like, you know, like prime rib, uh, yeah. uh, 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 br uh brisket, brisket sandwich. Love brisket. And, like, I did all that stuff and it's like of course that ex way exacerbated my symptoms but I can't food is the thing like no matter what 
I'm go- if I'm going through something anxiety inducing or pressure related, I will turn to food, even if I have, even if it's a stomach issue. Yeah, I just eat through the the pain. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, but I try to exercise more and I I jerk off a lot. So that's like why a, I guess I'm not too fat. That's what that's what women do a lot. They yeah. eat their feelings. But I mean, yeah. I yeah. definitely am like my, I mean, a woman. I, told you, like, I can't go. I can't just get pants. Like I have to. It has to be like. They have to go to the basement to get my size. Your struggles are the struggles of a woman. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my God. See, my wife, her Italianness kind of manifests itself in a different way. So she is equally as in turmoil and just, you know, all that, all that shit. But she'll, because things are such a mess internally, she'll then redo the entire apartment. So if everything is organized in our domicile, she somehow feels less a mess inside. Got it. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, your apartment is always very nice. Very, very, um, very well decorated and nicole is great nicole remember that remember when nicole, nicole is a fellow italian she has my anxiety symptoms too and i remember when we were were you with us when we were testing our blood pressure in my house i would hope so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's, well no there's been times i've been alone with nicole my partner when she watches the baby yeah <laughs> yeah and we would just fucking test our blood pressure like neurotic italians bet yeah yeah he's yeah. got a blood pressure machine in his house in his house yeah i put it on nicole i put yeah. it on mike yeah. that's gotta put, be terrible dude that's like a coke addict having yeah. a fucking like a heart yeah. rate machine yeah you should get rid of it actually because now that you're you've reversed the pre-diabetes yeah and um oh you're out yeah yeah i'm out yeah. my blood Congrats. sugar 5.6 5.6 is a <laughs> you head right to the sweets yeah. yeah yeah he went right to when when he goes when he gets blue he goes right to the sweets <laughs> but it's actually come, he's been in, replacing um sweets with smoothies yeah so um since he became a cutie with a smoothie yeah it's yeah. kind of reversed yeah Kitty with Smithy. Um, did you have any more history about Austin? What else? Well, the fucking Texas Rangers? Yeah. Well, I mean, I almost feel like we should have done this fucking episode on the history of fucking colonoscopies. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that'll be part two. But you know what? Though? I want to know. Like, I'm curious to know, like, how it started. Like, when did they start looking in asses? How yeah. did the technology develop? That's fucking wild. Yeah. yeah. But should... the thing is, but the thing is, if you're looking for, like, structure and a regiment, then this it's is not going to happen. Podcast. Not... The name of the podcast is the History Hyena. Sometimes okay? we're a little more history. Yeah. Sometimes we're a little more hyena. Yeah. yeah. If you right? Want... This episode is all fucking <laughs> hyena. Fuck. We're talking about Chrissy shit for 60 minutes now. All day. And if any of you guys want me to post if a you picture take of my a shit journey, on Patreon, you just tweet me. I'll post no, it. No, don't do it. If you want to <laughs> turn that glazed donut, if you want to take a journey inside Chrissy's asshole, this is the episode this for you. Yo, cause honestly, guys, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my doctor if it's okay. Maybe I'll say yes. Maybe it's not. Or my dad's gonna come with me because he's got to sign me out because I'm being sedative. I'll have him Instagram live so you guys can see up my shooter too. <laughs> if you guys want to see up my shooter, tweet me. I'll fucking shoot. I'll let you guys see up into the hall. That's yeah. for twenty five dollar patrons. Yeah, yeah, that's for the yeah. No, if you're a hundred, right. oh, that's for a hundo. That's that's a, a hundo, hundo. Yeah. you can come take the ride. Yeah, if you want to go inside, that's a hundo. Yeah, if you want no, to see, the, see wild shit in there. If you want to see the smash <laughs> bean, 25. 25. I, I, so I'm a listener of the show. Oh, I, thanks. I, I, yeah. I love the show. And not I a Patreon say, member, dog. I'm not a Patreon we member. We could use your yet. buck. Well, you know what? I'm in. All right. After today, I'm absolutely Don't in. worry, I'll give it right back to you. I got to say, dude, <laughs> your voice yeah. is incre- like it's an incredible radio voice, yeah. but you also would be, I wish they almost brought MTV Sports back because yeah. you have this almost like Dan Cortez quality to you where you can get me fired up about yeah. the most innocuous bullshit. That's because I'm a cult leader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, that's because I'm, a, I'm yeah. a true blue psychopath. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. You're, yeah. a, you're a hyena miscavige. That was the yeah. nicest way of saying you're too loud sometimes. No, yeah. not at all. It's, but it's yeah. also, it's like the the grainy, like there's something, the quality of your voice. Sexy. Is, it's, it is yeah, sexy. It's, it's sexy. kind of a sexy it's voice. Yeah. yeah, no, you do. You're sexy. He's a sexy kid. I'm a sexy kid, especially, especially since the hairspray. What do you do with your hair? How do you keep it like that? His hair's nice, right? You use hairspray? You got good hair. No, not gray, but I got the, okay hair. your hair yeah. doesn't move. Do you gel it? Uh, right now, there might be a bit of product because I actually just got a, ca- a cut today because it was down like past my nose. It was fucking super long yeah. for the last few months. But uh, no, I mean, typically my hair is pretty wiry, so it just goes where it goes. Yeah, but it, but it, usually, it doesn't gray. flop around, though. You got a thick, good head of hair. Yeah. 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 It's got a cute head. Right now, it's kind of <laughs> it's shaved a little bit into like a, a 1990s Patrick Ewing flat top. A little but, bit. Yeah, he's got <laughs> yeah. a flatty going. I'm, I'm more going for Eddie Winslow. But Eddie Winslow, sure. yeah. <laughs> Eddie Winslow. And, and Chris shaves a part into his head like he's a black kid. That's yeah. wild. Yep. Yeah. 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 And You're one of the only white dudes who probably does that. Well, it's interesting because I, I get a, sometimes like a black haircut, but then when I send you pictures of my sneakers, they look like white referee yeah. shoes. I you don't like those Reeboks at all? Because was that a joke? That, did you get no, those I as a joke? Them. Yeah, 75 beans. You got that as a, that was serious. Yeah, dead serious. So you, I thought those were dope, high top Reeboks. The only people who should be wearing those black Reeboks. Let's ask Mike what he thinks. <laughs> no, we're going to Yeah, <laughs> just, put, just show Mike. The only people who should be wearing that is. A referee. 
Those are fucking. Those are ref shoes. Unless you were refing a girls' middle school basketball game, that's what those shoes are for. Are they clunky too? What do you think of these I mean, puppies? I mean, he showed me this and goes, "What do you think of these?" I'm Bro, going. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, cra- I mean, how crazy! Can I post le- those dude, on the Patreon, are, dude. Legitimately, these are the exact same sp- uh, sneakers my mother used to wear to aerobics class <laughs> in 1989. Because if I showed our black friend, any black friend we know about this, yeah, they may not talk to you. you. Damian Lemon would never talk no, to me again. You may not be talked to ever again. This is this is this is fucking ludicrous, guys. This is fucking we got a post I've Can never put seen him in the camera. I mean, you yeah. bought these to wear these? Yeah. 85 this fuck, too. Even right? ISIS could tell you. He we'll can't even afford them. them. On, we'll post them <laughs> up. Show on them the, the fucking we'll ISIS. post them up. Zach, what do you think of that? Post them up. Patreon.com yeah. slash Bay Ridge Boys. He bought I the- had to buy shoes when I worked at the movie theater, like slip resistant, <laughs> and this is what they look <laughs> slip like. Slip resistant. <laughs> <laughs> They're very yeah. practical, Chris. Unless you're, get, unless you're a fucking woman getting on the show. Can you see Slip resistant. They look like they're made out of skateboard grip tape. Yeah. The only reason <laughs> yeah. you should be wearing those is if you were fucking taking off your high heels to yeah. get on the Staten Island ferry to go home. You know what they... Sh- <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> those those shoes, are comfortable. Those are shoes. If I got a traumatic brain injury, those, put those shoes yeah, on, right? That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. Those yeah, are yeah. nursing shoes. Yeah, those yeah, are fucking nursing shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. what were you thinking when you bought them? I just thought, you know, I was like, I want to go, you know, I'm going to England, Reebok an English company. I'm going to fucking buy these puppies and cruise <laughs> to fucking the streets of London with the Reebok high tops on. Have you ever suspected that he may be like a psycho? Do you know anything about that? Like, because, you know, psychopaths don't really care about society or norms or yeah. rules. Also, how he's sitting slunched and yeah. slumped in his chair right now. Like fucking doing trap. <laughs> Can you believe he earnestly bought those Reeboks? I yeah. mean, there, there are decisions that Chris makes that like are not tethered to reality. Yeah, sometimes yeah. that I feel like I'm crazy because we don't experience the Earth the same way. Yeah, he's a fucking wild, wild, wild kid. human yeah. being, wild kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you picked those up and you were like, cute. when you saw them, your your brain yeah. went cute, cute. Oh yeah, when I was excited to get <laughs> you held them and were like, cute. Yeah. These are well, cute. Well, that's like when I showed you when I bought a, a pair of two hundred dollar Lederhosen to go to Germany, <laughs> and I fucking <laughs> and you thought I was joking. I ordered them up. Yeah, and he yeah, told and me they don't he, fit. Is that true? They don't nah, fit. I can't get them above my hips. Nah, yeah. oh my and it's a God. size 38, but I guess a German 38 is a little bit more. Yeah, you always got to go maternity when it comes to anything that has any spandex material in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should, yeah. yeah. I should probably stop shop at that uh, store, Motherhood. Yeah, because <laughs> it, lo- <laughs> it looks like you're constantly wearing uh, a money belt around your waist. Yeah, with, I got like, a big Stuffed ass, with no? lots of bills. Yeah. yeah. You look like you fucking got a fanny pack on all around your waist. Yeah. Looks like you're wearing a WWE championship belt under your jeans. I'm a fucking champ, cuz. You're a big Good. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to fucking... I mean, I don't know if this doctor understands how, they, how he's going to get that scope up my 38 ass. I mean, like he said, they're going to have to get you a special He may bed. have to wrap it around. He may have to wrap it around my ass and then go in because yeah. it may be too long. I don't know. <laughs> he's going to have to use clamps to open up those cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> do, do you think for sure as soon as I get sedated, I'm going to rip a fart? <laughs> Guaranteed? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? True, yeah. This is a true story. Yeah, true story. Um Bardo, this is a good one. Um, so I, you know, when I, I got shot, and I got shot with a gun. Obviously, that was two thousand one. Yeah. Then a couple years, the bullet was still in there. Right. So like the, but the bullet works its way to the surface because your body will kind of reject, reject the foreign it, right? Yeah, you know that you're a fucking doctorate. Yeah, it does. So it started to like rip. It got to the surface and it got time to remove it. So I went to see the surgeon, and um, and then when he took it out. There's a funny thing happened before that, but I'll just tell you what's funny. They put put me up in stirrups, right, and put me to sleep. So they put me up in stirrups like this, like I was giving birth. <laughs> and when I came to, they were down there still working, and I ripped the fart right in his face, <laughs> At, right in his face when I woke up. And him and the him and the nurse just came up like this, <laughs> laughing. And that's what I woke up to. It was like them go <laughs> just laughing that I farted while he because he was right down there oh doing his God. work, and his, the bullet was right by I my asshole. You're gonna say you're gonna. He caught the bullet in his teeth. <laughs> like Ace Ventura. Yeah, he shot it out with the fart. <laughs> and he caught it. <laughs> yeah, I, fart, I farted right in his face. Yeah. Yeah. First thing I did, fart when I came to. Right. So you're, there's no question you're going to yeah, fart. Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah you're going to yeah, fart. Yeah, we should probably do a pod while I still have You want me to live stream my hair? Oh, yeah. like a Charlie bit my finger <laughs> yeah. or something. Or okay, the kids I, that are all twisted up after I'm the I'm supposed dentist. to be on your pod Thursday. I wonder if I'll be all right. <laughs> Cause it'll be perfect if you're not. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll just, drink if you're yeah. if you're fucked up. I'll just drink hard to yeah. get to your level. Correct. As soon as you're done, you're good. You should. He's just right. You shouldn't drive or anything like that because you're under the the anesthesia is the part you should worry about. But you come to just have a big meal afterwards. Your asshole's gonna be fine. They're yeah, gonna, they'll pull out a polyp or two. The most brutal is gonna be before. A couple of roids will the come 20th, out. Tomorrow is when it's gonna get a little brutal. Tomorrow is it's gonna be a tough day tomorrow. Tomorrow is rough. It's psychologically rough. You gotta sip that shit. Yeah, you gotta drink. Yeah. Well, you you take. You're supposed to take that down in one gulp. You right? got the battery acid. You no. I, yeah, you or not you in one. It. You can't take it one go. It's a big jug, so it, there'll, there'll be directions on how you do it. I'll yeah. fuck it up. It tastes the taste of it. It tastes like battery acid. I'm okay. just preparing. It tastes literally like battery acid. Did you get Can nauseous you, at all when you drank it? It's like, fucking hard, dude. But like I'm saying, throughout yeah. the course of the day, yeah. I understand I'm gonna be shitting. But will my will I have cramping? Will I have nausea? Will I throw up? No, you made from the taste maybe bad. I, I I'll put it to you this way, and this is no exaggeration. Imagine the worst tasting thing you could drink. Okay. That's what it's going to be. Right. I'm just preparing Can you, you for it. Can you dilute it? You can't. No, you just got to take it straight down because yeah. it cleans yeah. you out. It just, everything you shit out. So it's like, it'll just, it, it just takes everything in your ass and pushes <laughs> it into a ball. I take that for fun. <laughs> yeah, though, just, just to like, just to restart. It cleans yeah. you, but you cannot stop shitting and it's just piss that comes out of your ass. Yeah. I mean, this so is So it's not going to be like, a, it's not going to be a shit shit. It's going to be diarrhea At shit. At first it'll be shits. You'll shit everything out and then it's going to be, yeah, just, you're going to see clear liquid coming out of your for ass. For how long? Is that going to be through oh, the night? Oh God, it's fucking all, yeah, it's bad, dude. So I'm not going to be able to sleep even. You'll be able to sleep, but you'll wake up and you'll piss at your ass and then you might even be pissing out your ass like right, like I told you, I pissed out of my ass like. I took it a little later than I was supposed to because not eating was tough for me. Mm. So I ate a little later than I should have. Right. And I took the battery acid later. So I was actually pissing right up into the colonoscopy. The only reason you're taking that is then for the to clear everything out so they can see everything. Right. You know? So you got to clear everything out. Right. So You're power washing your walls. Yeah. Right, I mean, right, you'll right. be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a power wash for the inside of your smash paint. He told me, the guy, the doctor actually told me, he said, sometimes people after the colon blow, before the colon but after the colon blow, all the pains that they had are gone. Yeah. Because like you just clean, some things, clean it out. things are stuck to your colon that you don't even realize. Like he said, it could be a piece of food stuck in your colon that's just putting pressure and then you fucking blow it out. You're going to feel great. And look, because you're going to be fine. Because you don't know that. Because you're going to be fine. This is the first time you've noticed something on your, on your poop. Yeah, well, it's first been a few time, weeks. Few weeks, and the first you have a little pain. It's you're gonna be fine, cuz like, like, like he said, a lot of guys wouldn't even go with this. You're gonna, gonna like, have oh, like a hem, go. you might have a hemorrhoid, or you might have that uh, you know a little bacteria. Like he said, they'll clean you right up. The only thing to worry about is cants. That's the only thing. Like the pre cants. Yeah. That's the only thing. You're gonna if you have any pops, they'll remove them. So that'll be good. <laughs> and then good. those are gone. Did you have polyps? I had polyps. I had like two or three polyps. And they sniffed Everyone them out. should get your, especially Zach. Zach lives in Queens. You know how much shit <laughs> fucking street food this yeah. kid probably eats? Yeah. How many I mean, he's not a rich kid, right? No. He, have you, he every, had, every time I do a show here, I get paranoid about my health because uh, it, it's either ass polyps or like heart attacks or something is always going on with someone's <laughs> health when I do a show here. Yeah, because right. Zach's a smart kid too. Well, he reads. It doesn't stop you. It doesn't Yo, stop I you. like you on the show because you're good. I like you're good you, on Zach. The show. Yeah. Here's the deal. I'm bringing this I'm up right now. Bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to bring this up right now. Yeah. Okay. I know that uh, we've been talking about your ass. I know you're very concerned about your ass. But look, I'm also concerned about Zach Ice's glasses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've we been how long? How long we've been doing this? For? We've been doing this podcast. This is the eighth episode. Eighth so. episode. So it's eight weeks. Two months. His glasses are still helping. Episode twelve. It's episode twelve. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, this kid. I mean, do you see this why is the twelfth episode of History of Hyenas? This is the twelfth episode of History. Yeah, of Hyenas. Zach. <laughs> yeah. You got to have a connection. Somebody get me an illegal gun so I can walk him up to Poughkeepsie. <laughs> yeah. He needs to. Will you come with me to walk this yeah. kid up to a hill uh, and, and we'll fucking make him dig? Will you help me dig? <laughs> yeah. Dig the hole and yeah. we'll fucking shoot him into it. Yeah. We'll shoot him into it and then bring him back to life so we can cover his own body. Because I'm not fucking <laughs> shoveling dirt over you, cuz. You got to do all the work. I got a big ass. You need to be put down. Cause. Yeah. Cuz do you think with my coffin? They're gonna have to get a little wide at the Absolutely. bottom. Absolutely, it's gonna have to widen it out. Yeah. Bows out. Yeah, gotta get a, a pear-shaped coffin. <laughs> so, yo, this is what I want to do, Chrissy. What do you think? Yeah. What if we start like an extra fucking Kickstarter for his glasses? Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah, they have one on a uh, YKWD for no your glasses. One donate. Nobody fuck. I, I bet <laughs> no, you the hyenas no, will be up. different. I bet you will fucking raise money. Yeah. How much does it cost to get you new glasses? Because I, I can't uh, look at the orange tape anymore. Yeah, I'm I can't. Not, I'm not Warby sure. Park, Warby Parker is like a hundred bucks. 
Yeah. I think you can get a bucks. Yeah, you can get a cool yeah. pair of frames. We're yeah. trying to. We got to raise a hundred bucks. I want. Yeah, because I want. I want him to feel happy because I don't. You know, because I feel like he's a day or two away from start. He's going to start to mine for uranium any day now. <laughs> he's looking for uranium sources. He's on. He's on the cusp of radicalizing. Yeah, yeah. He wants. He wants to get uranium bad, and I can't let him dog. Can you see the Dells? Don't think I've started already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach, can you see the tape in your periphery, like a little and bit on the right side? Yeah, because yeah, the lens pops out. <laughs> So it kind of fucks up my color view of things. It's always a little orange and everything. Yeah. Bardo, you see these people can't make it on their own without uh, government assistance, right? <laughs> oh. Just like a dinner conversation I know your family's had a few times. Get yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. You know, these people, they need it. We got to give them a, we gotta give them a little government. They can't make it on their own, these fucking ethnics. He's a wasp. That's what the thing is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You, he looks like a wasp, but he's actually Irish trash. Yeah, so I, am, I am just the that smell you pecked up when you walked trash. in. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> You're like he looks like one of me, but doesn't smell like one. That's Sounds right. Like a sad bowling Fucking alley. Fucking Irish borough trash. Borough trash. So where are we at, Ice? Oh, how many minutes have we talked about Chris's ass? We are at an hour and three minutes. Holy macro. Wow. All if right. you didn't think it was we possible. Spent about 10 minutes on Austin. We did. <laughs> <laughs> the rest was all about ass. I actually looked up first colonoscopy, June 1969. Wow. 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 Good year. June 1969, first colonoscopy. Yeah. Wow. What was the technology that they used back? Did they just like, did a guy just put just somebody's tongue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they just open it up like with like a, like, you know, uh, uh, like some sort of clamp method and look in? I mean, that's what the picture shows. I don't know if this is the actual colonoscopy, but it, I'm seeing clamps. I wonder yeah. if they were if they knew also that they were changing the game because, you know, I'm sure a lot of medical procedures were kind of one and done. You're like, we'll never do that again. Yeah, yeah. But then they probably got into that guy's ass and they're like, we see everything. Yeah, we see everything. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean. What like back in the day, like if you were sick, the uh, the medicine, like every if you had fucking an internal hemorrhoid or a cold, they would just bleed you. They would just stick a hole in your arm and just take the blood out because like you got too much blood, and that would just start killing everybody. <laughs> and then they were like, "This is probably a bad idea." <laughs> yeah, you know, it was probably a good idea to talk about this though because it's a lot more interesting than Austin, Texas. Well, you we know got what, Austin? We'll, in though, maybe we'll talk about Austin in the in the Patreon. Well, yeah, let's talk we'll about do the reverse. The I'll talk about Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Because I know what the title of this episode is going to be already. Chris's ass is Chris's wild. Chris's ass is wild. Yeah. Chris's ass is wild. <laughs> Chris's ass is wild. <laughs> Yo, thank you guys for listening. Zach Isis, thank you. Mike Cannon, thank you for thank showing you. up. One last Bardo. thing. Just, oh, yeah. just on a Oh, close. we got to read the Patreon. We got to read the Patreon. Page. I forgot. You sent them to me, Bardo? Thank yeah. you, Bart. I appreciate. It. I appreciate I mean, how you just sitting there. Because all you got to do is tell yeah, this kid no that there's no need he's... for Bart to actually be here. Yo, I've never seen Chris this fucking scrambled because he's he's gonna be thinking about his what's inside his ass for the next fucking forty eight hours. But <laughs> listen, right. before you read the Patreon, yo, we got a lot of Patrons this week. So let me do it. Yeah, yo, yo, thank you. Just want to say thank you guys for joining, man. We're up to hundred and fifty Patreon members. Nice. Thank yeah. you so much. You don't know how much it means. It allows us to do what we do. So please go to patreon.com slash Bayridge Boys. Donate to our channel. Subscribe. The people who have already subscribed, leave a review. Cause you know, we we give we're giving you goods. If yeah. you're a member of our page, you're getting good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So, Patreon members this week. Started off Maxwell J. Watkins. Oh, thank wow. you so much, Maxwell. Is that your uncle, Maxwell J. Watkins? That's Bardo's uncle. Yeah, <laughs> Bardo's uncle. J. That's yeah. That's, that's a white that, name. That sounds like somebody from the past. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably a ghost. Then we got Ciro S. C. R. O. Ciro, one name. Yeah, probably a DJ. Probably yeah, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> DJ or a black guy could be the first could black be, guy. Yeah, yeah, could be Ciro. Alex White. Alex White, what's up, kid? Yeah, kid. Bobby Hollywood. Yo, Bobby Hollywood. What's up, Bobo? Yo, he left us a message on our Facebook. He's, Bobby Hollywood? He's a new listener. He says- he, Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. He's also in our Facebook group. I, I, I remember your name, Bobby Hollywood. Thank you, Bobby Hollywood. Ruby Lopez. Yo, what's up, kid? Pasa, mi gente. Hi, <laughs> Mark Oldham. Mark Oldham. Yep. What's up, Cuzzy Wuzzy? What's up, Cuzzy Wuzzy? Marky Oldham. Kevin Richard, two first names. Yo, Kevin Richard, what's going on with your life, Cuzzy? Chad Smith. Chad Smith, another there one of is. Bardo's cousins. You're getting your whole family in here. Anthony G. Yo, Anthony G, how you doing? Yeah, you remember Chrissy what's up, from Ridgewood? Uh-oh, yeah. here's a surprise one. Yeah. Britt DeChico. Brit the Chico. Yeah. Oh shit, that's my my fiance just became a patron. I remember. <laughs> Soon to be Brit Poppins. Soon to be Brit Poppins. Then we got Joseph Whitley. 
Joseph Willie. Yo, my girl was real angry that you said we were only going to make it 10 years in the last yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. She fucking messaged Chris. She messaged me bad. Yeah. And I told, I was like, no, just keep listening. I, I, I recant it, but that ain't true. Yeah, but it was really funny to, to hear that even uh, my fiance turns our podcast off after a little time. <laughs> yeah. Chris does she, fix it later. Yeah. She's like, she stopped listening. Not because she was turned off by that, just because fucking, she probably hears us too much anyway. Right. Yeah, like, she, I get it. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I get Giannis this. is too loud and fucking, and Chris disrespected me. Okay. Um, Joseph Whitley, Kevin Green. Who's that? Joseph who? Joseph Whitley. We didn't give him a proper shout out. I Joseph Whitley. What's up, cuz? Joseph Whitley. Oh, what's up, cuz? Joseph, Joseph Whitley. Joseph Whitley. Joseph Whitley. All right. Kevin Green. Yo, Kevin Green. What up, cuz? Dylan Larkin. Yo, Dylan Larkin. When you you working on your novel? That sounds like a novelist <laughs> yeah. name. <laughs> uh, Steve Delicio. Yo, Steve Delicio. You remember Chris? He played for Christ the King. Stevie. Kid had a fucking jump shot. Yo, Stevie D. Look at my hemorrhoids. You selling Zeppelin? Oh, speaking of looking at hemorrhoids, this is my daughter's godfather and fucking uh, the uh, head of the uh, ER department and a hospital. He's an ER physician. Lucas Saigon. Yo, Lucas. Lukash. Oh, that's oh, Lukas? That's Lukas. Yo, Lukas is a good kid. Yo, he got pictures of my shit, too. Oh. He, he gets he dude <laughs> yeah he yeah he gets a lot he he gets the brunt of it yo being, unfortunately yeah being friends with you comes at a cost yeah especially if you're a doctor yeah it, comes it gets at a cost. bad yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, Andrew Agos, yo, who's I, our, who our meme dude, maker. Dude, we got to give him a special shout out. Andrew Agos, he, uh, Andrew Agos, or Agos, Agos. He sounds like a Greek. Agos, or Agos. are you Greek? Anyway. Andrew Agos makes our memes all the time. They're Thank awesome. You. Do not stop. Go to our Facebook group and check out all the funny, hilarious Photoshop pictures he does of me. That guy is great. He's great. He's yeah. fantastic. Thank you, Andrew. Then this guy joined again, Gor Goran Sivajanovic. Oh, he, He's from last week, too. Yeah, he, he probably deleted it. <laughs> he probably and joined again. <laughs> You're a sick fucking guy, Goran. Yeah. We love you. Have Just you been messaging him on Snapchat, too? Does yeah, he ask for your yeah. head? Does By he, that domain name. Does he say, hey, I'm going to find out your touring schedule and kill you at the airport? And you're like, What's up, cuz? What's up, cuz? Come down to the studio. Yo, does my shit look weird? <laughs> All right, last but not least, Jennifer Ann. Thank it's, you. Sounds like a porn name. Jennifer Ann. Yeah. Jennifer Ann. Do you do, do, you do double anal Jennifer Ann? Jennifer that does Ann. sound like a porn name. Well, here, you know, and, Just and, because there's one other yeah, porn Jennifer Ann. And I, can't, Lisa Ann. And I, I can't, yeah. and I can't <laughs> wait to check. I can't wait till this one comes out and to check... Uh, Sunday, as soon as this podcast releases at you know eight p.m., eight or five p.m., Jennifer Ann has deleted her account. Yeah, <laughs> deleted her podcast. Listen, we're not going to leave you hanging. The next episode, we will give you a full update on Chrissy's health. So yeah. don't worry. I know you guys are going to be uh, you know worrying about Chrissy. In fact, we'll post it even before that because we're all concerned about Chrissy. He's going to be fine. You're going to be fine, Chris. All right, cause all right, cause appreciate it. Thank you so much. History Ihen is out. Ha, 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 ha,